energizing, strong. Let's review this juice. Hi all, welcome to another Fragrance Friday. I'm Dr. Necktie and this is Light Blue Eau Intense Pour Homme from Dolce & Gabbana. Now that's a mouthful of a name. Could I just call it Light Blue Intense? Thanks. Light Blue Intense came out in 2017. Its olfactory family is a fresh aquatic and the notes are as follows. Mandarin orange, frozen grapefruit, juniper, salty aquatic accord, amber wood, and musk. How does it perform? Uh, like a rock star. I get 10 to 12 hours consistently when I wear this. And in the hottest of heats too. It projects excellently as well. I get three to four hours consistently. In my fragrance reviews, I normally avoid compartmentalizing a fragrance for a particular season. However, in my book, Light Blue Intense is decidedly a summer weather fragrance. Spring just feels too early. Rock this in the daytime and for all things casual. In fact, I'm overdressed. Could you excuse me just a moment? That's more like it. Now, as I was saying, get outdoors in light blue intense. Hit the pool, hit the beach, go to the barbecue, go to the picnic. All of those summer events. Avoid this at work. You're gonna gas people out. On my Sisu scale, this fragrance is common. I mean, look, it's an aquatic. The aquatic scent framework is familiar even to novice noses. Nonetheless, it's still a likable smell. How much does it cost? You can find this 100 ml bottle for 88 US dollars at retail price. Light Blue Intense has been out a couple of years, so you can easily find a good deal on this online. Shop around. So what do I get out of this? Blasts of citrus, blasts of salt. That good old aquatic opening. The opening is interesting because when I saw Juniper in the note list, I didn't get it at first. The more time I spent with this fragrance, I suppose I got a hint of juniper right out of the bottle, but you really have to search for it. If juniper's not your thing, don't worry about it. After the alcohol burns away, that commanding, tart, frozen grapefruit takes over. I interpret that frozen grapefruit note to be a collective accord of synthetics that are creating that effect. The first hour is bitter and punchy, but it fades on my skin and it gets softer for the rest of its long life. But still strong, citric, and salty. I want to add too that Light Blue Intense mixes well with your sweat. I can't stress it enough, folks. The hotter, the better with Light Blue Intense. As for the woods and musks, I'm sure that they're there, but they play a minor supporting role in this fragrance. Light Blue Intense is top heavy in terms of note list. And that's okay. What kind of caller ID man is this for? This is for the man who loves these olfactory representations of the ocean. It's for the man who loves everything about summer, from the longer days to the warmer nights, to the life of leisure. It's for the man who wants a summer fragrance that will last in the hottest of heats and still feel refreshed throughout the day. Final grade, A minus. Is light blue intense a unique smell? No. Will people stop dead in their tracks and ask you what you're wearing? Probably not. As I mentioned earlier, the olfactory framework of aquatics is largely predictable, played out in some cases. But Dolce & Gabbana does this scent well. It's modern, it's invigorating. See, you get light blue intense for its killer performance. You get it to smell like the best aspects of summer. This longevity is what people wanted but didn't get with the original light blue. But you can get it here with light blue intense. <laughs> Imagine that. 
an intense flanker that actually does what it advertises. If I have one aquatic for life, this is the one. The phone lines are open. Let me know what you think of Light Blue Intense in the comments below. Thank you for joining me for another Fragrance Friday. I'm Dr. Necktie, and if you'll excuse me, I have some sun to catch. I'll talk to you soon. Color ID.